What's really good, YouTube family? It's your boy Lance coming at you once again from Murray Made Television. Check me out. Yeah. Today, um, I'm gonna be answering some questions that some people sent me on my other social media uh, since I last uploaded that last video. Yeah, I've been uh, kind of busy, and um, but here I am again. Um, finna dive right in it, but before we do, please like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and I'm real close, so I just need that little push. I need y'all help just to get there. So, um, I'll let out the way now. Um, I went onto my Facebook, and I had a lot of people, um, send me friend requests, but uh, they they asked me a lot of questions in that, so I just took like 15 questions, I wrote them down so I remember them, and uh, today we're just gonna do a little Q&A. And, and um, I'm finna just start it off. Um, question number one, uh, somebody asked me, they wanted to know how old I was. And how old do I look? Like for real. They thought that I was like 28, 29, but nah, I shot them down, man. I'm 36 years young. I just turned 36, uh, May 2nd, May 2nd, 1986 is my birthday, so uh, I'm blessed to be the made it this far, so uh, that answers your question right there, I'm 36 years young, and uh, I hope to reach 37 with no issues, so, uh, the second question, somebody wanted to know where I was from, did I live in Houston, Texas, no I'm not from Houston, Texas, I moved up to Houston in 2007, the end of 2007, and I started going to uh, Texas Southern University in 2008. I played basketball up there. I met a lot of cool people. I spent a lot of time in Houston and ended up going to Alaska to play basketball. But I'm originally from Wichita Falls, Texas. That's north of Dallas, south of Oklahoma. It's right there at the border of uh, the Oklahoma border. In Texas, so yeah, I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas. I'm not from Houston, Texas, but Houston's still cool though. Um, the next question, they wanted to know uh, one of my best memories. What was one of my best memories ever? And I would say one of my best memories ever was becoming a dad. Um, of course, it's something I had never experienced before, so I just remember uh, when I first found out that I was a dad, it was a feeling I had never had before, duh. Um, a lot of the stuff that I was indulging in, and I couldn't do anymore. I had a little person to look after, and it was, it was different, it was exciting. It was, it, was, it was crazy to see my face on this little boy. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, that's 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 my top memory. Then it happened three times, you know. But yeah, that would be my top memory, my best memory. It's a funny question right here, man. The next one, uh, somebody asked if I could have a superpower, what would my superpower be? Which one would I choose? And I sat and thought about it for a long time. Um, I want to be able to control time. A lot of things, a lot of bad things have happened. I've lost loved ones. And if I could control time, I could go back and fix that. So that's the one that I would want. You know, my dad and my grandma would still be here right now if I could do that. So I definitely picked that one. That was a, that was, that was a good question. Um, the next one, the type of music that I listen to. I bump old school R&B and hip hop all day long. So Mary J. Blige, Naughty by Nature, to take it back even more old school, Isley Brothers, OJs, um, what the Earth, Wind and Fire, man. My daddy and them, my uncles, they 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 put me on a lot of music that I still bump to this day. It's it's real feel good music, and I like I like listening to that all the time. Next question. 
Who is your NBA GOAT, greatest of all time? Um, my NBA GOAT, mine, I'm not speaking for anybody else. I'm just speaking for me. To me, the greatest of all time to you is somebody that impacted you. Not what he did for everybody, but how he impacted you and the feeling that they put in you. Uh, made you feel like you could go out and get it, get up off your butt and do anything. My greatest of all time is Allen Iverson. Everything about him uh, popped. The hair, his swagger, uh, tattoos, his attitude, how he carried himself like on the court. Like, I'm not scared of you. You know, like, I'm, I'm finna give you the work. I like that about him. Uh, he's the reason why I picked up a basketball. He's the reason I started playing. Of course, there were some other ones that came on down the road and they caught my attention too. But, you know, uh, five starts from a spark. And he was a big spark for me. And uh, he would be my greatest of all time. I know some people I know over Jordan, over LeBron. Yes. AI. That's that that's my goat. Um next question. My favorite top five artists right now. Future, number one. Future's number one. I don't care what nobody say about him. Miss me with all of that. I like future. I like Drake, King Von for sure. I like King Von, Lil Dirt, and Tim's. Tim's is real dope. I like the way she sound. She real dope, man. Her uh, what was that song? Um, God, how can I forget it? I'm mad at myself. I'm a uh. I'm gonna figure it out later, and then I, and then, I, and then I'm gonna come back. But yeah, she got a song is 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 real real dope, man. That's that it's, it's my favorite song by her. But I'm gonna go find it out, and I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. Um, what are my hobbies? What are some things that I like to do? I love to go fishing. I love to go. Fi I haven't been fishing in probably about a year. I just been busy doing a lot of stuff and juggling a lot of stuff with my kids. But uh, fishing, and I really want to go camping. Camping was something that I wanted to do when I was little. My mom and dad bought me and my brothers and sisters uh, tents, and we would have them in the backyard. We would go back then and camp, but, you know, it ain't nothing like... The last time that I went camping is a funny story. The last time I went camping was 2008 or nine. It was 2009. It was me, my sister. It was... Her husband, the chick that I was dating at the time, and my little brother. And, uh, man, we went out and got everything. We went out and got fishing poles, bait, tent, food. And then we bought uh, some uh, BB guns, like they, they shot, like little metal BBs. And uh, we went out there playing, man. And I just remember I was walking to the car. It was like It was like 60 feet away from the tent. I forgot what I was going out there for, but I just see the dirt exploding my sister busting at me like i said and i'm telling you know like stop playing like i said you know i'm i'm thinking if it get hit man that shit finna sting like i said she just back there just letting letting it go and so man i'm i'm ducking so i do one shot i just pop, and i seen her go up and spin and fall so i went ahead and got well i think i was getting a charger i was plugging my phone up in a charger in the car so when i got back i'm like why are you playing like you play too much when i looked at her she was bleeding the BB shot her like an actual bullet and went in her arm. And it's still in there to this day. That that shit happened in 2009. And I feel bad, man. Like, our little camp trip got cut short, man. I had to pack up the tent, get everything, put it in the car, drive to the hospital, man. She mad. I'm looking in the rear view at her in the back seat the whole time driving. She looked, man, she had this mug on her face, like, and my little brother next to her, he giggling. He think this shit funny, and I just remember her telling him, like, laugh again, and I'm going to bust your ass. Like I said, but that BB still in her arms to this day. You could touch, you could feel it moving around. And the doctor, I was trying not to laugh when we was in the hospital. I had to take it that night. And I remember the doctor telling her, like, the BB was moving. <laughs> The BB was moving so fast, it disinfected itself in the air and hit her like it was a real bullet. I felt bad about that. I'm glad. But, you know, I start, I start thinking about it. Like, my nigga, you fired like 12 shots at me. What if them would have hit me? 
I shot one shot. You shot at me like 12 times. But that's another story, man. Uh, I want to go camping. Uh, my hobby is fishing. I love fishing. I just haven't been in a while. But I'm going to get back to that real soon. Um, how many tattoos do I have? I have 47 tattoos. And if if it's... I ain't, I ain't got any more. You know, I, I got 47 tattoos, but I plan on getting some more. So that number going to change real soon. Um... All of them is basically like my family, like uh, my religion, basketball, things like that. Um, I think my favorite one I got uh, when I was playing basketball, I got in Jesus name I play on my stomach. That was my favorite one. Um, yeah, that's my favorite one. And then I got the, the one on the side of my leg. It's a, a basketball with a wedding ring on it and it says till death do us part that was dope that was that was like i think that was within my first five tattoos i had got but that one was my favorite one also but moving to the next question um what's an embarrassing secret that you have i know exactly what it is too when i was 15 years old I don't care, man. It's it's probably some dudes out there that gonna be like, he tripping. But if you my age, then you then you'll get exactly where I'm coming from. When I was 15 years old, I wanted to be in B2K. Them dudes was fly. They had girls going crazy. They was they were famous. They was getting money. Who wouldn't want to be in that group? And then the music they made was dope. I'm not even finna lie. Uh, Got to be that 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 was my shit. So y'all can laugh at that, but um. I wanted to be in B2K, man. Uh, next question is, a female song that you secretly love and sing with your chest? My female song is Truth Is by Fantasia. Every time that come on, man, I turn that as loud as I can in the car. When I sing that at the top of my lungs, I don't know. It's something about that song or whatever, but that's my shit, man. It forever will be. So Fantasia's Truth Is... Is my female song that I like to sing in secret. Yeah. Um, what's a hidden talent that I have? I like to rap. I do music. Um, I never jump in it. I've, I've, I've always taken it serious. But I was too shy to let everybody know that I do music. But I actually do. And I actually want to tap into that. Um, I'm really talking to some people right now to see if they want to go in on it with me. If not, I'm still going in. When my grandma passed and my dad passed, I just made a promise to myself that, you know, anything that I'm good at, I'm, I'm about to go for it. Because I see firsthand that life is too short to sit back and then hold on to something that you could really share with everybody, even if you're, you know, halfway decent at it. So I'm going to try to tap into that. I am going to tap into that and um, make that happen. So, yeah, I like to do music. Um, next question. Something that you want to do. I want to start a clothing line. Um, actually, I've been working on a clothing line. Murray made clothing. This is my logo right here. It's two M's. It's Murray made. And it says since birth. I've been Murray made since birth, man. So I'm happy about that. Um, I got hats, basketball shorts. I got shirts. I really don't know, you know, what the uh, females would like to wear. But, you know, I'm open to suggestions down in the comments, man. I'm going to check them out. Man, I'm trying to build, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get going with a lot of things. So yeah, the clothing line, uh, I got a ton of hats, whatever, and I'm gonna start um, really putting them on display. But uh, yeah, that's something I wanna do is a clothing line. That's something I'm going to do. Um, and so many questions, man. The next one, uh, your favorite NFL team. I like the Philadelphia Eagles. We got one championship lately, whatever. I don't care what nobody said. I the team I hate is the Dallas Cowboys. I really don't hate them, man. I I, I hate their fans. They fans are rude, man. Like they they find out you're not a Dallas Cowboys fan, and it's just like that they want to hang you. But yeah, Eagles my team. Last question, and oh no, it's two more. My favorite active NBA player right now, hands down. If anybody know me, it's it's, it's Carmelo Anthony. Hands down, it ain't LeBron, it ain't nobody else. It's Carmelo Anthony. That man, a goat. He's a goat. He's one of my goats. And the last question is, 
uh, how many kids do I have? I have three boys. I got three boys that look just like me, act just like me, and they give me hell like, you know, I got on my parents' nerves. Um, Kyrie, he goes to uh, Bush in Houston, Bush High School in Houston, and he's my basketball player. He, uh, he, he really up next. Y'all need to go check him out. His name is Kyrie Murray, and he goes to Bush High School in Fort Bend in, in Houston, Texas. He really liked that. Y'all need to go check him out. My 15-year-old Tristan. Tristan is good uh, video games. He likes drawing. And he just also started trying to tap into some music. I be hearing him in the room in his closet trying to rap. I just don't say anything to him. But yeah. And then my baby boy name is uh, Drake. Drake is 12 years old. Uh, he plays football. He plays basketball. Uh, he also does music. He uh, also tries to tap in on YouTube. He's real computer savvy, real smart little kid. Uh, I'm going to get them on here, man. They got personalities that everybody needs to meet. And um, y'all going to love them. So, uh, I mean, that's all I have for right now, man. But uh, next video come out, man. Uh, I will have one of my boys on here, you know, so y'all can meet them. Uh, I'm just glad y'all took the time out to watch the video. And once again, please like and subscribe. And if you have any more ideas for ladies, what you want in uh, clothing, please drop them down below. And I'm going to check it out and I can see what I can do about it, man. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, please, man, you know, send me some more questions, man. I'll answer them some more, man. It's cool. Peace out, y'all.